Hello and welcome to a new YouTube tutorial by Peakboard. In our video today, we want to show you how to integrate REST APIs into your visualizations in XML and JSON formats. I've already gotten started by setting up a visualization in the background that will later display the departures from the Stuttgart main station as well as the current weather in Stuttgart. After I add my main background image from my local resources, I want to also show you another way that you can integrate resources into your visualization. For that, I'm going to click on Add Web Resource under Resources in order to add a logo onto my visualization directly from the internet, without having to first save it locally. After that, I'm going to also add a date to my visualization. Here, though, I'm going to change it to the English format, which is to say it'll be displayed in order of day, month, and year. The time will also be shown in the English format, with AM and PM, which is why I'm also choosing a different format than usual here. Now I can get started with adding my XML data source. To do that, I'm going to click on Add Data Source under Data, and then on XML. Setting up an XML data source is very simple. You just have to input the URL and then click on Load Data. After that, you can choose what specific data you'd like to add from the XML API. And after clicking on OK, you'll be shown a preview of the data that you'll be able to use later in the designer. I'm then going to pull my data onto the screen using drag and drop, which causes the table to be created automatically. I'll then just remove the columns that I don't need. I'm also going to rename and reformat the remaining columns, departure, destination, and platform. Last, I'm going to adjust the headings, and that's it with regard to setting up the XML API that's going to display the departure times. Now I want to show the local weather. I'm going to query this information from the JSON API, which I'm also going to add under data. Here, I again just need to enter the URL and then choose the JSON path that I want to load under load data. After this, the preview shows me the current weather in Stuttgart which we are now going to build into our visualization. To do that, I'm going to create a new field, which I'll label weather. I'll simply display the current weather via a text field. The content of this field will simply be the data in the column labeled main from the JSON API that contains it. I'll do the same thing for the temperature reading, just making sure that I'm selecting the appropriate column. In the last step, I want to display an icon to describe the general state of the weather. For that, I'm first going to create a list that contains all possible types of weather and a matching icon for each. After that, I'll create a data flow that will add the current icon using a lookup column. To do that, I'm going to click on Add Lookup Column under Add Step and start by assigning a weather icon to the new column. Under Source Column, I'm going to choose Main, since that's the field that has our information regarding the current weather. Then, I'm going to choose the column it should be compared to, which is the Condition column, with the icons that we just created. If a word from the Main column matches one in the Condition column, the respective icon will be added to the weather icon column. Currently, it's snowing, which is why we see a snowflake icon. We now just need to add this icon to our weather display by designating it as the source for our text field. With that, we're done with today's visualization. In the preview, we can see that the departure times as well as the current weather are being displayed. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked our video today, we would love it if you gave us a thumbs up. If you have any questions regarding the video, or if you have any suggestions for a topic that you'd like us to cover in our next video, please simply leave us a comment below.